like helping so many people with their issues and stuff, do you feel like a pressure to like be perfect in your own relationship because like you're supposed to be an authority on like relationships and stuff like that? <laughs> does it like spill over into yours? Um, I don't, I don't think so, honestly. Uh, I, I, cause I don't want to be too like stern in my answer. I could be wrong, but I mean, from the results of my relationship, I would have to say, um, priorities are important. And I think like I put my relationship over everything, even over my career, even over my passion. And I think people don't do that. Even when you have kids, I think that your relationship should always go first, even though your kids are important, wait as long as they're wait, safe, wait, as wait, long wait, as wait they're a happy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say that. Say that Give one more up. time. Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I think relationships should be first and uh, your partner should be first in relationships, not your kids. And I'll go into detail why, because I know like maternally, a lot of women will hear that and get triggered by it. Right. But I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I, and what I mean when I say that, as long as your kids are safe uh, and they're happy, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. But when you pour too much into your kids, what happens is there's an imbalance in it where by, you, you're suffocating them their entire childhood. There's supposed to be a natural nature course that your kid's supposed to go through. Mm -hmm. And when you're suffocating them because you love them so much, you're putting them first. Not only are you taking away time from your partner an intimate relationship with your partner, mm. you're pouring too much into your kid. Yeah. So by the time they turn 18, they can't wait to get the fuck out of the house. Right. So as a mom or a parent, you're going to feel cheated. Like, how dare you feel this way after I've given you my entire life, my youth, my freedom. And that's how you feel. So you don't really win as a mom when you do that. So that's why I tell women like, put your partner first because your partner is why you are there. Your partner is, is the one that makes you feel happy to be a mom, to be a wife, to be a person, mm -hmm. regardless of what you say. Um, so, you know, your partner needs it first, whether it's emotionally, intimately um, support. And there, if you give to them, they'll give to you. And I think it's, it's the back and forthness. So for me, like, regardless of what I do online and, you know, my work, he goes first. Like he's the first person I talk to in the morning. He's the first person I go through for everything, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's probably why, like, I have a Telegram channel and I do stuff online and people will tell me, like, why don't you post every single day? I'm like, because I have a fucking life. I'm not, I love y'all and I know I should be making money the way other people capitalize on it, but my relationship comes first. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, he's the breadwinner and I like that and I support that. And he's, he's doing, the more I support him emotionally and the more that he knows that he has my loyalty, the better his business grows and the better he grows as an individual. Right. I know where to invest my eggs at. I'm happy with that. The internet is a cool place. It's nice. I make money here and there, but compared to him, it's jump change. So I'm not going to be putting all my, my investment there, my priorities there. When, if I get canceled, I'm done for. What did I do? I just, I killed my own relationship and I, and I invested all this time. It's just something that could easily get snatched away from me. So okay. I just, you got to look at it from a longevity point. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to disagree with me on the kid thing. A lot of people put me on the stake for that because I don't have kids, but I would have to say like as an Asian child, like, you know, growing up, you know, I left home really early, so it doesn't count for me, but I was suffocated in a, in a sense where like, you know, your parents tiger parent you. They don't want you to do things. They don't want you to have you a keep, social life. They don't want you to dream. Tiger, tiger parent. It's the same as like a helicopter parent because that's what that's the yeah. term I'm familiar yes. with. Like yes. over and over. So, you know, they, they want you to do everything that they didn't get to do. But that's just like, you can't do that. You, you can't fuck. You have to let nature's play its course. You have to give your kid what they need to survive. But when you give them too much, now they no longer have a passion or a drive in life. Mm. If you know, like you're, you're you're giving them more than what they need. So in their world, you're creating an entitled child, which is why we have a generation full of entitled kids, because mm. you're giving them more Narcissist. than what they've earned. It's a whole generation full of narcissists that think the whole world revolves around them. Parents, it's the parents' fault. I hate to say it, and I, is it their fault entirely? No. Is it? How is it a parent's fault for giving them everything, their kids everything that they didn't have? I understand you could love something so much that you want to give them the the success that you work so hard for, mm -hmm. but that's why it's so hard because it's like, what are you supposed? Am I supposed to watch my kids suffer a little bit? Yeah, unfortunately you do, but you know why it's okay? Because you're gonna turn to your partner, and hug and cut and love your partner why your kids suffer just a little bit so that they can find that passion in life to become something and create an identity for themselves instead of just living off of this misery like my mom didn't let me live my dad said i ain't shit 
ba 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 ba. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go spend my trust fund money. Like, why? You just you ruined a, an individual by just tiger parenting them or neglecting. It's one extreme or the other. There's yeah, like a yeah, balance yeah. you have to it find. There's a balance you have to find. But I mean, right. uh, like some people would say, like, um, okay, maybe you're not tiger or helicopter parents in your kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, like some people, like my wife's friends, right? They all tell her that it's like, I mean, your kid is young. Like, they're all like the intimacy is going to suffer in their relationship. You know what I'm saying? And everybody should be cool with that situation. Like, and I'm, I tell her like, you're only seeing th- their relationships on a surface level. You cannot, you, you especially can't read the, their husband's minds and you might yeah. see them and they might look happy to you when they out and about, but you don't know what's going on at home. And even if it ain't nothing going on at home on the surface, like that man is miserable because yes. he, and he might be like resentful of you and the kids because he feel like as soon as we had these kids, you forgot yeah. about me, you know, and I'm just yeah. supposed to just take the back seat for two, three, four, five years yeah. and just be cool with it. <laughs> like some dudes going to be okay with that, but they probably the same dudes just paying for all these only fan chicks. You know what I'm saying? Or, they are. and or cheating behind your back while you think everything is, is it's fine. Accurate. You know? Yes. Men show love in ways that women will never understand. And this is where I, I usually get a lot of hate for because I'm not, I don't have kids, you know, and I'm, I'm too young to talk about this topic. But again, like if you, are, if you have common sense, you look at the average people around you, men are silent. Men are taught to not talk. Men are taught to not complain about their circumstances. So, and my biggest thing is that we are humans. We all feel, yeah. but like men internalize their feelings just because he internalized it does not mean he doesn't feel it. Right. And the thing with that, people don't realize, like women, we are taught to express our feelings. We are taught to say when we are hurt, when we're hormonal, when we're hurting. So we're always saying something, even if it doesn't have any actual depth to it. Right. And women will often tell me like, well, how could a man cheat on a woman that looks like this? Because you don't understand how it feels like to be in a relationship with that type of woman. You don't understand that that man has suffered silently. Mm-hmm. And he's like, biologically, a man is designed to be pleased in a sense where his he has testosterone. He needs to release that shit through success or intimately. And if you're not going to be that woman that he signed, he didn't put a ring on your finger from you being a dud. And regardless of your respect, resp- he will pay for a nanny. He will pay for anything as long as he gets that one-on-one with you. And like women don't understand that like, this is why men work so hard. Right. Um, so they could create that safe haven. And when you decide, well, I'm a mother. I didn't take away your rights as a mother. I'm saying, well, I'm still your man and I'm your man first. I'm still a man. And you want a life. I'm still needs. a human. You, you know, purses make women happy. That intimate part for a man, that makes him happy. That that fulfills him. And that's actually cheaper than purses. So for women to demonize that men need that fulfillment when it comes to their, their bonding time with their partner, it really bothers me because I'm like, how do you think you created that child? Right. So it just disappoints me that that's how it's gotten to because it's like, I know like, intimately they like, that's where me and my partner bond when we don't see each other because we we he travels a lot and i work all the time when we do see each other that is the glue and the bond that brings us back together every single time he's like love is love that's one compartment mm-hmm. but that intimate bond that is a whole different compartment that women don't realize like how much men need that to stay loyal to you to love you and continuously busting his ass to create this lifestyle that you want right. that's what he needs that's the motivation that's all that's all we asking for like, and it's cheap. It's so fucking cheap. You already doing it. I think women don't realize like what testosterone is, you know. They don't. Like, they don't. That is just like y'all hormonal. That dictates a lot of our mood. Like Yes. It's yes. isn't it's, it's like at a on a on a primal level, like if let me see how how I'm gonna word this shit. <laughs> But it's like, it's like sexual frustration is a real thing. You think PMS is bad? If a dude is walking around a woman that he's attracted to day in and day out, and it's no intimacy, 
because yeah. you know maybe she's too tired because of the kids or she's yeah. stressed because of work or something like that like th- the the hormone testosterone is pumping through that man vein the whole yeah. time and he coming he up with all that. kind of reasons he's feeling rejected he coming up with yeah. he's feeling in, inadequate and it's all the test he just need that release and then everything is right with the world you know what i'm saying everything when when the, when that happens like they go to work for them they can rule the world Conquer the they deal with people world. and they're not even angry they don't they don't have road rage after that you know they don't give a fuck if it's regular eggs or pasture egg whatever you want baby you buy it whatever. and women don't realize like is whatever you want when you give him that and it's so 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 important like even the bible says you need to have sex i don't care what anybody says like you need to understand like this is as much as women say that PMS is a real thing, that is a real thing for men. And you have to respect that. And you can't demonize that because it's their biology. And, and, and it's not like like they're choosing to do it with the whole world. They're choosing it with you. Right. Like you are you already in you're already in the ring. You got the the ring, you got the marriage, you got the kids, you got what you wanted. And all he's asking in return is the exchange of bonding with him that keeps him being a man. And that's I if I say it this way, women think that. You know, I'm being a pick me girl, but like coming from a girl who did not understand that value because I had my own little, like, I'm going to, I don't know how much time you have, but like, I got time. I, okay. Like I grew up in a household where like all the women were very masculine. So we weren't, we weren't designed, we weren't shown to be feminine. We weren't shown to be, um, uh, how do I say it? Initiating when it comes to sex. Okay. So getting to all my relationships, I never was like that. I was very masculine because I was in survival mode, you know, like leaving, I grew up in the project. So for me, I've always had to defend myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I can't just be a little damn zone distress in the streets. You can't do that. You, right. you get used left and right. Mm-hmm. So by the time I got to my partner, he grew up around women. He's used to combative women he, or like women um, just barking and barking and barking. Right. But at the same time, he's fairly attractive. So he's just like, I'm used to women catering to me. Right. So I got my foot in the door with him because he liked my drive for life. But I couldn't keep his attention because I did not understand. You're, you're dealing with a man who can get any girl, like an Asian guy that can get Hispanic women. Like, do you understand? You got to be some sort of Asian fucking pimp to get a, a Hispanic <laughs> girl's attention. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the fact that I'm over here thinking I don't have to be initiating when it comes to sex. That is why I damn near almost got my ass cheated on. And that's when I woke up realizing, you know, and you're, you're creating a cycle that your mom went through, your aunt went through, your grandma went through of a sexless marriage mm. and an unhappy partner. Why are you doing this? I was like, I don't want to be another generation with uh, you know with so many opportunities when all i'll do is submit to the idea that i am safe i'm with somebody who loves me i need to put all my energy and effort to someone who's going to bring me to the next level and best version of myself and this man really did like who i am today i'm not the same girl i was a year ago or the years before that because he understood i understood for him the minute i was like you know i need to understand this is what makes a man happy he already makes me happy in all these other categories. Why am I penalizing him for something that I went through as a child mm. and he wasn't there for? Mm-mm. You know, all these insecurities you have as a woman, that's going to fuck up your relationship with the present right now because mm. of your past. You have to heal your past to enjoy the future. And the minute I did that, I brought this man grew up like a good man is one thing you meet him good, but a man turns great and fulfilled when you become the woman that makes him complete, he can live life as a mediocre good man. He can sleep on a futon and play video games all day long. But if you are a great woman, he will challenge you to the best version of himself. He will be amazing. And this is exactly what happened. And I watch him just change and I love it. And I just think like, you know, for all the women that deal with men that peacock, it's because you're so promiscuous publicly to the world but you don't want to initiate that privately in bed with your man. Mm. So that is ultimately a try. Like, how dare you show the world that you are this freaky, you promiscuous, you sexy, you slutty, but you can't do that for me. And that's yeah, the bad thing. And, and that's watching, what I, he watching you do that. And, and, and you coming home and ain't, ain't, ain't living up to that. What you showing the world and you, it's and, a try. And he just, it's making him feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, okay. You said it's a tease. Yes. Yeah, a tease. And it's, it's it's horrible to live through them. But you said you said something that I want to want you to expound on. You said you damn near got cheated on because of how you was looking at sex in the relationship 
and stuff mm -hmm. like um it was a chore i looked at it like it was a chore you looked almost, at it and like it, it was a chore and like it was a duty and that maybe turned you off or something like okay now in that if he would mm -hmm. have cheated would you have blamed him no 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 i wouldn't be knowing what i know now i wouldn't have and this is where a lot of women would hate me for this because everything in life happens for a reason i don't care what anyone says like if you were a sad girl and you got cheated on you were never the main one to be cheated on you were sharing him to begin with but i'm speaking from a main perspective if you were the main girl or you were the only girl and a man decides to commit himself to you i want women to hear this from a perspective of like why would a man commit why would he drop all his hoes why would he put a ring on you why would he bring the government into it why would he bring kids into it to cheat on you if a man decides to risk it all because you weren't putting out do you blame him do you blame him and most, that's why i'm selling women most like women, most no, women would blame the man he a piece of shit because it's never an excuse can't. to cheat because here's the thing if you bring it down to like everyone will say well he should communicate you have to understand from a from a child standpoint childhood standpoint we've always been taught that we can express how we feel mommy i don't feel safe with this man in the room mommy toby pushed me mommy someone hurt me but as a man, you've always been told, toughen up, toughen up, shut up, go throw a football. I don't want to hear it. That's your little sister. You know, men don't complain, men don't bitch. So men have been designed from child, from childhood that you cannot complain about your circumstances. So then all of a sudden you get into an intimate relationship with your partner and you hear your girl saying, baby, be vulnerable. Baby, talk to me. But baby, you're not creating that safe space for me. So I'm not going to be openly safe with you. You know, the only woman that a man mostly have been safe with, if it isn't you know, unhealthy is their, their mother. Yeah. And that's why men love their mothers so much, because that is why the one woman that won't judge you for your insecurities, for your weakness, you know, they'll embrace you to almost to where they're almost, they'll almost even cripple you. Mm. But aside from all that, that is the one person they could be safe with because you, you do that with your girl. You say, Hey baby, you know, I really like this, but you stop doing this. Now you're going to hear like a line of things. You're like, babe, like stick to the problem. You know, you used to do this. Yeah. She started, I'm blaming, doing my end of the bargain. She started blaming you for it and shit. Like, so it's it's so bad because like men are not they're not therapists they don't know how to communicate women don't know either but we this is where people have to learn how to communicate with each other because it's like if you're not doing that you're going to basically react you're going to suppress your feelings as a man and you're going to slowly buy ferraris do all this shit to make up for like the lack of unhappy that you feel for yourself and your mm. partner you're like i love my girl i have love for her i'm just not in love with her anymore mm. because I, I i signed up to be in a relationship with this woman when she was a sexy slutty girl for me in the beginning when we were in the honeymoon woo stage yeah. and the minute she knew i wasn't going nowhere she she started wearing the ugly t-shirt she stopped shaving you know she you know she don't care about sexually stimulating me no more but when this girl's nice she getting hella fucking fine and don't want to do it for me it is fucked up and that's what i'm saying like i i don't i see that to such an unhealthy manner like why do you pray so hard to be the main chick and for this man to be loyal just for you when there's so many more women out there that's willing to do more for less so why don't you play your role as a woman to get the whole hundred percent don't be that 80 and be cheap on that 20 just because you selfish and you mad about something if you're mad about something learn what you have to do to get him to submit to the idea of whatever did you think you're not you're, you're being deceived of and you're not getting so you can get that full intimate relationship with your partner emotionally or physically so okay so how it goes did into you, depth. how did not to cut you off but how did you come to the place because i can see where maybe a woman would, would feel like well i just i don't i don't want sex as much as him so why should i have more sex with him if if it's not what i want you know what i'm saying so 